hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be talking about how i feel concerning the issue of dragging your parents on social media or bringing your family's dirty linen to the public over the past few days on twitter there's been a couple of debates and people are talking about this whole thing and i love talking about social issues because i feel like as human beings we are social individuals we're social creatures and a lot of the things that you know determine how our life comes out is our interactions or our relationships with people and our friends and our families there was this twitter thread okay somebody just tweeted something post a conversation with your parents and people were posting pictures most of them were really really funny most of them were very interesting you just we're just seeing a lot of a whole bunch of things and it was really it was a really nice trend until some people started posting very interesting things about their parents and their relationships with their parents i'm going to get into all that before i do please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel so so much it helps the videos as well so don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not subscribed leave a comment down below and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time that i publish a new video so the origin of this video is based off of this tweet i'm telling you about if i can find it i'm also going to put it on the screen so you can see and the tweet said share a picture or share a conversation with your parents and people were posting conversations with their parents it was really funny we had a good time most of the uh comments were very funny as well most of the conversations that people posted from their parents were really funny so it was a good time you know until some people let me say one particular person posted a conversation with her dad where she was being very disrespectful to him i have to really admit that she was actually being very dis disrespectful to him from looks of things she seems to be someone who is very very liberal and maybe doesn't subscribe to the whole christian ideology and maybe she came from a very strict household where they had traditional or conservative beliefs or traditions and all those things and she was basically telling her dad hey i don't care about all these things you're telling me stop telling me to give my life to christ you guys are not helping my life something 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 she was being really rude to him i have to admit and people came and started dunking on her i'm just giving you a report okay people came and started dunking on her and were saying that oh you shouldn't talk about your parents in this way you shouldn't post this kind of conversation on twitter like why are you telling us this what do we need to do with this information that you've given to us so first of all yeah i think that when you say things like that oh why are you telling us this what do we need to do with this information i feel like that can go both ways maybe this is just this is just my own view of looking at things in an objective way if somebody posts something good okay they're coming to share with you they're coming to share something funny you can also apply that logic to them and say okay why are you posting this what are we supposed to do with this information do you understand i don't think that that logic applies to only when somebody posts something for lack of a better word let me say weird the tweet literally said post a conversation with your parents and that's what she did so if you're looking at it in that perspective i feel like allow her she posted it they said post ah, she posted it ah sorry people talking about why she shouldn't have brought her family's dirty linen to the public and i understand that sentiment a lot i feel like yeah it makes a lot of sense if your family is having issues social media is not the place to come and sort it out and things like that but i also think that it is important for people to acknowledge the fact that not everybody comes from a very nice tight-knit maybe loving family and yes i understand that people have family issues okay no family is perfect every family has their own issues but i think when people come out to talk about maybe toxic parenting or having a bad relationship with their parents i feel like we should give them some room or give them some space to actually have these uncomfortable discussions this leads me to my next point which is the fact that i, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing maybe my mind could change a few years or a few um, months from now or even maybe if i have this conversation with somebody but i feel like if somebody is maybe respectfully uh, i say respectfully in quotes talking about their toxic relationships with their parents and maybe how they were not really loved at home and things like that i don't think that it's nice for people to come and start saying oh my god um you shouldn't say things like that in public because our society nigeria and sometimes africa we are very protective of family okay we defend family a lot and it's a good thing okay i think that sometimes people go overboard and try to cover up for things that are not supposed to be covered up for 
and when somebody comes to talk about their toxic relationship with their parents i don't necessarily think people should start dunking on them oh my god you're dis- you're disrespecting your parents the relationship between a child and a parent should be initiated by the parent okay and i'm going to also cut parents some slack because parenting is not an easy job trust me i know so I'm, this is not as if i am i'm trying to dunk on them or trying to say oh you guys are doing every single thing bad yes parents provide for their children which they should it, they send us to school it's a very very good thing you know it's good to have a parent that is invested in your life but at the same time i think that people should also allow the other side of the conversation to be had from the from the child's perspective where they feel like okay this thing that you're doing i don't really like it you're my parents but i don't really like this thing that you're doing and i'm trying to tell you that hey i don't really appreciate this thing you're doing and imagine trying to have that uncomfortable conversation in a very healthy way and all people will do to you is to come and start telling you that you're being disrespectful i personally don't think it's fair i I understand both sides of the spectrum i understand both sides of the arguments but i just think that if somebody is coming to talk about that thing we shouldn't just be so quick to shut them down because at what point are you going to listen to other people's experiences that are not very pleasant and say okay if this person is going through this with their parents maybe i can learn from this and make a conscious effort to not do this with my own children do you understand because people learn from people's experiences so if you keep shutting down everybody who is coming to say one or two things that are not necessarily pleasant about their parents or their family at what point are you going to encourage a healthy discussion around uncomfortable subjects or topics i hope that that makes sense okay I also feel like as a society it's kind of an unspoken taboo to admit that you have a toxic parent and maybe this also goes or spreads across other cultures but i'm going to speak for nigeria because nigeria is what i know okay i think people just see it as oh my god it's such a barbaric thing to do for you to say that oh your parents are toxic when in reality there are actual toxic parents who may or may not need to be called out or who may need to be cleared once in a while so i just really feel like as a society we need to encourage those conversations and hear things from both sides and this is not me trying to say that children are always right or parents are always wrong no each party can have the sides where they are wrong and the sides where they are right but i'm just trying to say that don't be so quick to shut down people who talk about having toxic parents because sometimes they are the ones that know what they are going through you just never understand until you're in someone else's shoes okay so now i want to flip the script and talk about this from a parental perspective and in as much as i'm not a parent i still feel like i have some kind of knowledge about this whole thing and i'm going to speak in favor of parents now or speak in that perspective so i think that as a person naturally you should be grateful to your parents if they are doing the bare minimum what do i mean by bare minimum sending you to school clothing you taking care of you feeding you doing things like that that's like the bare minimum of parents because their primary assignment is to take care of you they brought you into this world so i feel like if they are providing you with those necessities at least that's one thing that you should be grateful for in as much as i believe so much in the fact that there are toxic parents i still believe that there are some areas where you should appreciate your parents because let's be for real parenting is not an easy job at all like if you want to know how difficult it is to parent somebody try try just taking care of a toddler for maybe one week or even for one day you have to constantly give them a lot of attention and it is not an easy job so i feel like people do need to cut parents some slack with regards to the tweet where the girl was talking really rudely to her parents to her dad rather i don't personally agree with that because i I kind of felt like she was really really rude and there are some times in your life where you switch up on your parents and you end up regretting it's like i've been there trust me there was a time i was being so rude to my mom and i don't really think i can ever forgive myself for being that rude to her it hurts me so much you know which as she, she annoyed me she really really annoyed me but i felt so bad talking to her like that and i apologized of course but that's another story for another day. The point is that sometimes just cut parents some slack. Yes, they can be very overbearing, but honestly, nobody is perfect. You too, tomorrow you're going to have children and you don't necessarily want your own kids to talk about you in a bad light. Do you understand? Parents really just do all they can do because they've never parented a person like you before. So having a child is like it's like learning on the job because in as much as you've had children before, maybe you've had siblings and your parents have raised them before you 
it's still their first time trying to raise you because you as an individual may be very different from your siblings another point that i would like to make is the fact that i think sometimes if you still live with your parents let's just be real sometimes you just have to play by their rules it's not comfortable trust me trust me i know and i made a video about this thing about how to maybe draw boundaries i'm going to link it here when you're staying with your parents and when you're working from home and things like that but i still feel like there are sometimes you just need to give them that respect because i'm sorry you're in the house so you kind of have to play by their rules i'm not trying to say that it's comfortable it's really uncomfortable especially as an adult when you start growing up and maybe god will not bless you with parents who don't recognize you as a person or you as an adult or maybe they keep looking at you like you're a child it gets more difficult like that but at the end of the day we just have to tell ourselves the uncomfortable truth that as long as you're under them as long as they are still your primary care providers you kind of have to play by their rules by and large what i'm just trying to say or the point i'm trying to make with this video is the fact that don't be so quick to write off or chase people away for talking about their bad relationships with their parents sometimes parents have the sometimes they have like your best interest at heart but maybe they are going about it in a very different or wrong way especially with our boomer parents they're very different from us and the way they see the world is not the way we see the world they adopt more traditional and strict values well a lot of us even if we tilt to the conservative side we still have some liberal beliefs or values i hope that that makes sense so my entire point of this video is that there should be room for a healthy discussion for both uncomfortable subjects and comfortable subjects okay people talk about their parents being good that's good and fine also allow people to talk about their parents being bad i'm sorry i know it's not it's not ideal do you understand but those conversations need to be had and i also feel like let me sign up with this point i also feel like a lot of people don't like when people talk about toxic parenting because they don't want to look at or they don't want to examine some of the things that are going on with them and their parents and see that okay maybe there are some toxic behaviors here and there and this is not to say that every single toxic behavior every single bad behavior you now start to pick it out and start to nitpick and start to be a nag to your parents but i'm just trying to say that sometimes people don't want to listen to the other side of the argument because they feel like their own perfect perception of the world or perfect perception of their reality may just crumble and I think it's good to have healthy uncomfortable nuanced discussions about these things don't don't entirely rule it out you know that is all for this video i hope that i was able to present this whole thing in a very comfortable or should i say in a very balanced way okay i'm i was trying my best not to be biased towards one side because like i said i understand where both sides are coming from and i also hope that you guys were able to see things from a different perspective if you have any thoughts or any comments please leave it in the comments down below i would love to see it and interact with you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to also subscribe turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time i post a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one